Hey guys, welcome to Flight Stop King. Hey, today is all about a chicken hibachi. We're gonna do the fried rice, the extra vegetables, you name it, we're doing it. We're doing it all on the Blackstone Griddle. You guys stay tuned. Just seems like I need to throw a quick disclaimer out there with my videos because the keyboard warriors, listen, I know there's a difference between chicken teriyaki, chicken hibachi, and chicken teppanaki. Teppanyaki. Thank you. Uh, but in fairness, like when you go around the Southeast, which is where I'm from, most of your steakhouses say Japanese steakhouse and hibachi. So that's what we're calling it. Now, the way I make my teriyaki is not traditional in the sense of the homage. Was that how you would say it? To the Hawaiian culture. But we do have a real teriyaki recipe available for those that are interested. This is kind of like my rendition of it. All right. So today on the whole idea we just did the three griddle recipes for beginners right because we said this one's going to be a little bit more difficult a little bit more recipe involved um your timing a lot more ingredients so that's why we chose to do this video separate at the end of this video if you guys are interested we're going to post another video very soon how to clean your griddle with sticky substances however we title it right so there's a good way to clean your griddle whether you're just doing smash burgers or uh, grilled cheeses. It's very simple, right? But when you come to the sticky stuff, it gets kind of difficult. So we're going to show you how to do that. You guys look out for that video. Golly, now that that's over with. Now can I finally cook? Jiminy Christmas. We got the rice. Let me show you how we did our rice. I grew up on jasmine rice, low jasmine rice. Uh, found it in the Navy with my Filipino friends who introduced it to me. And I've been using it ever since. Simple. Rinsed it. Uh, just want to get that starchy water, that color. You'll see it come off and just Rinse it clean, not a big deal. In a rice cooker, we've got the two cups of rice. Since we're making a fried rice out of it, I'm not worried about adding any seasonings at this time. It will have plenty of seasonings on the flat top. It's already on, it's gonna do its thing, it's gonna cook. When that happens, we're gonna just put it over here. It is so cold outside the day, it's about 17 degrees. We're just gonna move it out to our sheet pan, keep it outdoors, let it um, cool down and keep it fluffy. And then we're going to store that overnight inside the refrigerator. All right, we're going to throw some onions, some peas of carrots, some egg. People got on to me before I made fried rice before and they said, I forgot the egg. Sometimes we make it without egg. I made sure I had egg today. We got our extra vegetables because we love our vegetables and we got some chicken breast cut up. We got about a pound and a half of chicken breast cut up. I'm going to show you why we do it like that. Um, our Blackstone Griddle is on low. It's extremely, extremely, extremely cold. This is my avocado oil that's frozen. And this is my water bottle that's got ice in it. Cold today. Um, this is a, a remake off of a recipe that we did early on in our griddle um, jaw, uh, life when we just started griddling. So this is kind of like the idea, what you guys ask for all the time, where is the recipe? So we went by our recipe that we made on the griddle bin. We're recreating it today. So if you guys want to check out theflattopking.com, you can get the full recipe, all the good stuff that goes along with it. Today, I'm just going to have fun because I am starving. I have, what's it called when you don't eat? I don't do it often. Fast. I feel like I fasted for a good hour for this. So I'm ready. <laughs> An hour. Yep. All right. First things first, because it will take the longest. A rice. A little avocado oil. I'm gonna get my onions, peas, and carrots started. All right, now that I got this rice warmed up, I added a half a stick of butter. I'm just gonna kind of let it do its thing. Got a little soy sauce here. Add a little bit as much as you like. I kind of give it a couple once overs. Salt, pepper. We can always taste it if we need to. I'm gonna hold off on the salt right now because obviously your soy sauce has salt in it. Just a light dusting of garlic because I like the garlic in my rice. Uh, one thing I need to mention today, one, it's probably because the temperature outside is so cold 
but one of the very few times I have my griddle on different temperatures, I've got this side of the griddle on low, and this side of the griddle about a medium, about a medium, I would, that's a fair, that's a fair number right there. I'm gonna let that start sticking to the bottom because my wife and I both like the little crunchies that come with fried rice. Two eggs. That is the color I'm looking for. Now we're just gonna move everything over. Just a couple more dashes. My guess is, honestly, we're probably close to a half a cup right here. In total. In total, yep. That is my honest guess. All right, notice right now, I preach it all the time, clean as you go. The rice has moved over. If you guys want to put it in like a chafing dish or a, uh, you know, one of the little pans, you can. Our flat tops cleared off. The temperature is coming back up to heat right now. You can imagine how much uh, uh, heat gets absorbed through the rice and it really zaps it out your griddle. So take a moment, let your griddle come up to temperature again before you start adding more ingredients. One tablespoon of butter and about a tablespoon of avocado oil. Put our vegetables down. That is two zucchini and a half of onion. The vegetable mix is up to you guys. I figured since I had onion already in my fried rice. Salt, pepper, just a little bit of garlic powder. Touch of salt. Light coating of oil. This is one of the secrets that I like to do. I think each piece of chicken needs its own landing zone because I like to get the char on the chicken. So don't put it all in one spot. Just a light coating of soy sauce. Now we are using the less sodium style. So that might vary depending on um, the salt factor, your taste buds. I know my dad is like anti-salt through the roof, so he's got a lot more sensitive palate to salt. This is even how they make it at a restaurant too. Remember how they cut it in the big old chunks? Yep. All right, I've got about two tablespoons of butter right here. I'm gonna let that start softening up. See that color? That's what I'm talking about. I think the sauce sticks better. This is gonna happen fast. We have garlic, ginger, soy sauce, brown sugar, honey. Is that it? That could be it. That's why we told you guys to check out theflytopking.com because you guys have been asking for the recipe and this is what I did. The only difference is in the original video, I did it separate. So this is all the ingredients combined. There you go. See how that sauce now is starting to stick to that chicken? Oh, goodness. It smells amazing. There you go. That's what we want right there. Just like that. All right, that's done. All right, guys, there you go. I've tried to make a mess as much as possible. I've moved it all over the griddle. So when I do my 
how to clean a griddle video. I can relate to more of you guys. Typically, I like to keep it on one side, at least half the griddle, because that means you only have to worry about half the griddle. The more you move your chicken, your steak, your shrimp, your sugary substances, the more griddle surface you have to clean. That's just a part of it. So, do it just like they did. Oh. <laughs> portion for one yep they always look at me and go oh yeah you got to have the extra rice and i'm the extra vegetable guy mm. the one thing about this it's hard to make one portion i can tell you that you love leftovers i'd love to get a scale right now <laughs> no let's not do that five pounds of food yeah, keep that chicken on the griddle a little bit longer than expected. That sauce really adheres to it. Because let's be honest, you're not really adding more teriyaki sauce at the end. What you want is the good stuff, the yum yum sauce. There's those little crispies I'm talking about right there at the edge. Mm. Ah. Uh. You don't like hot sauce. <laughs> Here, hundred percent guaranteed. No, no to go boxes today. None. <laughs> All that food, and I can almost guarantee you, mm. there won't be any left over. <laughs> That's the best one. Perfect. Still has a little crisp to it. Not overcooked. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. There you go. Mmm. Mm. That's it. That's that chicken teriyaki. That's that chicken habachi. That's that chicken teppanaki. Teppanyaki. Thank you. All at your back porch, all at your basement, all at your, whatever you're cooking your griddle at, there it is right there in a nutshell. Mm. I have some work to do. I gotta clean my griddle. We're gonna film that. Like I said, I try to make the biggest mess as possible. You guys know me, I don't leave it like this. But other than that, that's it. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. It's just where you guys can help with the channel. Check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook. It's exploding. People are getting griddles like all the time right now. So they're just trying to check us out, see what we're about. So if you guys are a member of The Griddle Group, comment, welcome them. Hey, help them out with their problems. That's what it's about. It's a community for us like-minded people. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. <laughs>